How are y'all doing? Y'all want to stay for a comedy show? We got dinner reservations. Good we'll luck, though. I see it. I you. I bet you're funny. was the other way around like because you know sometimes we just be trying to find our way in there like i know y'all think like now nah, i'm not gonna lie i know it's some dudes out there and you know uh, the vibe is red alert you know but but a lot of us we just be trying to find our way in there you know it's like if we say like good morning you know we just care about your well-being you know we want to see how you doing you know did you wake up on the right side of the pillow did you get your eggs and bacon you know <laughs> and, and you know if somebody tell you hey good evening they kind of hoping that you want to extend your evening. You know, you want to get a drink, some some burgers, some fries, go for a stroll in the park, you know, see what's happening with the action. Um, That's not a joke, but, you know, I just seen that video and I had to throw that in there. I was like, somebody was talking about, somebody was talking about cat con. I said, that's my lane. I'm right in there. I was watching that this morning. I'm right on topic. I said, the universe works in wonderful ways, you know. Um, <laughs> Because I think that pickup lines should make you feel bubbly on the inside, you know? Like, you ever try one of your pickup lines? Like, I was walking down the street, and I seen this girl, and she was very smart, and I couldn't try to figure my way in. Like, I don't know how smart I look to y'all. <laughs> but I've been in community college for the past 15 years. <laughs> so that's the level that I'm working with. And we just crosswalk. And I had a bag of Chipotle, so at least she knew I made good, healthy decisions. <laughs> and you ever go through like your drafts, like first draft, second draft? Like my first draft, I was like, man, what's up? Your brain booty be bouncing. I can see your aura is intelligent, you know, like that was, that was a gonna work. You know? <laughs> so then my second draft, I was going to like, you know, like, you look like you read a lot of books. <laughs> Your mind is like the ocean, it's deep. <laughs> and I just want to be a dolphin. <laughs> um, I'll tell y'all this, there's some people out in the streets, like I hope it's not y'all because I'm going to say it anyways. Um, y'all see them couples on the scooters that ride together? <laughs> In my mind, I say, they are not going to make it. <laughs> like, I'm not no biophysicist, but four feet on two tires. Ooh, shit. I'm not a, I'm not a bed man, but concrete has the 
get mad, you know? <laughs> and, and I feel like good couples don't do that because they're like, hey, we have the money. Let's get two bikes for one of them's like, hey, I don't trust your steering. But when you, when you see the two people on there, I'll tell you what I see. I see a front. They're trying to put on an image that things is going well, you know? <laughs> In any of y'all online date? Y'all like online dating? Cool, because if y'all did, y'all wouldn't like this joke. Um, <laughs> I feel like getting an online date is like getting a shelter pet, you know? Like, they might love you, but the story's going to be so sad, you know? <laughs> like, I, I like getting my dates out in the wild, you know? Like, like full of rosé, gummy worms, and steak sauce. It's just so much more exciting that way, you know? Um, like, could you imagine if Tinder was around in the 90s? Like, you know what Tinder would be in the 90s? You know what I mean? It'd just be like, a, it'd be like somebody knocking at your door, and they'd be like, hey, you know, like, your name was looking sexy in the yellow pages, and I had to swipe right, and here I am. You know what's up with it? Like... <laughs> There's this, like, weird uh, mating ritual, you know, when, like, dudes buy girls drinks that's been around a long, long time, you know, like, like, have you ever seen the movies where the dude comes up to the bar and he goes up and talks to the bartender and be like, I'll have a liqueur and send one down to the lady and send one down to the lady's friend on me. <laughs> Like, I have never been that dude, you know? Because, like, why why I got to buy a drink and you make more money than me? Like, I want to taste, taste, sip, too, you know? You have more financial ability than me, you know? Like, if I'm on a date and we're together, of course I get your drink. But if we're in public, I have public fear, you know? Like, I have the public fear that I'm going to buy you a drink and somebody else is going to cash in on my assist. I don't like throwing alley-oops, you know? I'm selfish. I'm not a team player, you know? Um, I think, you know, like, I don't know. Like, that's just me because, like, I can't trust a girl that lets me buy her a $12 Coors Light, you know? Like, I can't have hope in our future with those bad financial decisions. I could go to the store and buy a 12-pack for 10 sell them for 5 and then take you to a fine Italian restaurant. What? Like, you don't like lasagna? You don't like chicken alfredo with the with, with, with the little blackened chicken? Like, you see those grill marks on chicken? Like, that is when you know you have made it. You know, it's not a chicken sandwich. It's sat on a grill with a professional chef that observed it cooking. Like, there was, there was steam coming off that chicken, you know? Ain't no chicken soup like that's fancy. <laughs> um, your thoughts change as you get older, you know? Like some of y'all are, are young in your twenties, like in your twenties, you just put on sweatpants, look in the mirror, be like, I'm about to go get a world a piece of meat. <laughs> in your thirties, it's no longer statements. It becomes a question. Same question every day. I looked in the mirror long enough so I could see my, my aura my essence, like the effervescence of my spirit, looked in my eyes and I said, does struggle last forever? <laughs> it's like climbing a mountain that never ends. Like, y'all seen the prices, right? You seen the when he gets to the top, it's never good, you know? You know, this is, this is an uphill battle in life. Like, I think like in life, you gotta know who you are and what you're up against, you know? I feel like we should get to know each other, you know? Share some intimate details of our life. I don't have any cartilage <laughs> in my knees, but I still walk all over the town because I'm brave. Like, you would never get in your car if the airbag didn't work. You need that cushion for the cushion to stop your momentum. <laughs> like, I can run, but when I stop, it's not my decision. <laughs> uh, I was at this crosswalk, and I seen like three to four cute girls, and I said, God damn it, I have manifested my dreams. <laughs> And 
I started walking, and the time he said, boy, I said, uh oh, I ain't gonna make it. And I, I turned around and my knees locked up. And one of them said, oh, are you okay? Yeah, but my self-esteem hurts. Um, I, I'm getting older and I lost my superpowers. You know? I tried to climb a fence and could not do it. <laughs> and that hurt my feelings. Like, there's a part of me that died on the inside because I had two hands and a leg on there. And I'm trying to get my leg up and I'm like really trying and couldn't do it. Like, my left leg was just dangling like a loose piece of spaghetti noodle, just dripping salt, sleeking oil. And I just dropped off the fence. Hello. Um, and I had to like, walk half a mile around this fence and I had to look at the ground because I couldn't look up at my nemesis, you know? <laughs> like, you ever have like a moment where your mind is like, do that shit, but your body's like, mm-mm, <laughs> warranty is voided, be cautious. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, like, you ever like, you remember when the pandemic started? Like, I was like, man, this sucks. Because you can't see. It's not like a, something you can see. It's like the first few months I was looking at people like, are you the goddamn mosquito? <laughs> Put your mask on, it might be you, you know? Because mosquitoes usually carry voracious diseases, you know? Um, I, I, I'm starting to realize that life may not be working. I'm 35 now, so it's like I'm at the point now, it, it, it just might not happen, you know? And I don't know like what was supposed to happen, but I'm like, damn. I'm, I'm like creeping up on the point where it's like, hey, you were supposed to accomplish something. <laughs> At least a university level class, you know? Like sometimes I go home and I look myself in the mirror. Like you ever look like yourself in the mirror like long enough where it's like, ooh, give yourself a passionate kiss, you know? Um, Last week was a weird one for me. Statistically, one in 5,000. I hit a pigeon on the freeway. <laughs> and I was so upset. Like, there's no trees, there's no environment. Like, where's your water source? What are you doing? <laughs> and I was even mad because it was two pigeons. One made it, one did it. Like, they was in that ascending position, like, broke up and and like, it wasn't as bad as I thought, you know, cause when it hit the windshield, if you hit a pigeon, what do you think? Oh shit, belly, blood, evidence, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but like, the only evidence was, it, it left a smudge, I'm like, you ever smudge a sneaker? <laughs> it left no work, but at least it wasn't like a window hit, it wasn't a, a chip, you know? I wish today was my birthday. <laughs> Did y'all see the sexiness that went into that microphone? You know, like if, if, I, I just want that in my life. You know, to have a woman go take the microphone from the host and lean into that microphone. That ain't how she sounded, but it was like that level of sexiness. You know. Um, Shit, man, y'all beautiful fucking crowd. Like, man, I like this. Y'all, y'all have y'all have like exceeded the level of standard rooftop sexiness, you know? Like, that's a high standard, and y'all happen to get there, you know? Um, beautiful pink purse. I seen that from over there. Pink is your color. It matches the shirt, the purse, the earrings, you know. And you come support comedy. That's sexy. Um, I want to say right there, I seen y'all from over here, y'all are like a, a, a sexy ass kaleidoscope, you know? Like, <laughs> you know? Like, you know how you look through the, one of those prisms and you like, damn, there's a whole lot of colors and sexiness in there, you know? Like, I was like, god damn, that's like the beach, you know? You go to the beach, like, ooh, that is happy, that's better than the waves, you know? Like, damn, and y'all, it, it works, it works, you know? Um, beautiful ladies in the back. Beautiful couples, all y'all, you know. Um, I want to do something with the band. Like, the band ain't getting love like that, you know. Y'all just need some love. They, uh, we was calling, what was we going to call it? The, the shot, the rim shot. Yeah, we're going to do a rim shot, drum shot. So when I stop my words, do that. 
Cause I can't rap But I know basic lyrics <laughs> Beautiful I just want you to know That y'all my favorite crowd I wish I could keep going. I wish it was my birthday. I wish there was people on that roof watching me so I could say I did it from two buildings. We are on two buildings. That man is on a cell phone. Trying to text his lucky night. He does not see me. But I'm talking about you. Three tone on the carpet. Jungle vibes on the seats. That's how you include the band. Like, the band is awesome, man. Like, um, she also, man, dude at the, uh, you know, Jedi Knight shirt, like, you know what? Like, you need to be a rapper, too. Like, you need to go, you need to, that needs to be your pickup line. Cars on my feet, what you talking about, you know? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, you wear shoes the cost of cars, you need to let everybody know, you know what I mean? Uh, hundred out, hundred out, hundred out, thousands, thousands on the racks, you know? <laughs> I want y'all to know this comedy set doesn't really mesh together, but you know, like when yeah, you know, like sometimes you see a crowd and you be like, you know, we're gonna figure this out together, you know. Ooh, I like that. Ow. <laughs> uh, shit, man, great is an overstatement. That's too much pressure. I do all right, you know. Um, I have so many questions this whole night, like. Who planned this night, man? Because this is an incredible... Like, whoever did that shit, that is an incredible ratio. Five women, five dudes, and a poochie. <laughs> Y'all know a good time, you know? I would mix it up a little bit. You know, you can weave it in. You know, you know how you play basketball? You do a three-man weave and, you know, lady, girl, dude, dude, lady, girl. I don't know what y'all's situation is, but I sized y'all up when I was sitting over there. I seen that crowd. I said, somebody in that crowd has a boat. <laughs> and, and somebody in that crowd has a pair of jet skis, maybe three, maybe four. I don't know your situations. Hey, well, I'll tell y'all ladies, these is very well-organized men. They look like they got careers. All five, that's undefeated. There's always one fuck up in the group, but not this group. And I can, I can tell by their drink selection. They are organized. They all got the tall cans of Coors Light, the silver bullet. That is an army that sticks together. And as I see the people in this bar, not just this group, I didn't forget about y'all. I seen that couple right there. When they walked in, did y'all feel a little envious? Like they walked in like, like it was a sparkle around them, you know? Like they came, like, like we was in their movie and we pressed pause and it was just them moving, you know? That's all, did y'all get that vibe? I was like, on my man's birthday, you gonna play him out like that, but I seen the way they was cruising around that corner. I saw every detail. It took about 10 seconds, but it felt like 30 to me. <laughs> Shit, man. I don't know. I talked to y'all all night. Like, it's like so many faces. Like, I I'm trying to calculate, you know, like. If y'all all matched up, you know, what's y'all percentage? Y'all shooting 60%, you know, three out of five. One is married, so that's a guarantee. You're at least at 20%, but you need two more to pass the test. I'm trying to mix in. Oh, two are, two are married, so y'all already at 40%. So that means you only need to shoot 33% out of the next three opportunities. 
Ladies is functioning well, no friction, no side, you know, shit going on. No, like, oh, I gotta go out, that bitch coming to, you know, like, y'all all weave together. Very friendly crowd. Um, everybody else, what's up too, but this is like the focus. I see, a, you know, like, sometimes you see a, like, this is ooh, like a laser, you know? I don't know, he chilling. <laughs> 